That's a difficult one because obviously the, 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 the way most people become ultra wealthy is by floating a company that they've spent 10 years building and suddenly they float it and, and, they, and they're wealthy. So the stock market is, is very good for creating wealth in, in that way. Um, it's, and, and then once they've got the money, then they can invest large, large sums of money in other companies and things like that. So, yeah. But for actually creating wealth for investors, um, in general, the people who make large sums of money are the brokers, not the... Uh, I remember there was a lovely story from the 1920s, 1930s, a guy visiting New York or it was some broking room and, and he's, in the bro he's in the broker's offices and he looks out the window and there's the marina outside and there's these beautiful yachts. And, uh, and the, uh, the client says, God, wow, your clients, you've got a lot of wealthy clients. And the broker says, oh no, those are ours. There's lots of wealthy brokers, there aren't many wealthy clients. I, I shouldn't really be saying this, but uh, it's it, it, it's a great holder of value. So you know, it, it, in general, if you if you if you invest in stocks, you get a return, a dividend return, which nowadays is generally pretty good compared to interest rates and compared to inflation. The markets have been going up in general over the long period; they will go up. So yes, you can say that that it's a great marginal holder of wealth and marginal increaser of wealth but it's not going to make in general trading shares is not going to make people massively rich don't get me wrong there of course there are there are, well, there are exceptions there are some people who have made absolute fortunes trading shares but in general they know something they've got some bit of information that they know about and they take a risk I haven't seen the question, it might be on the next page, but I'm going to ask it now. But <clears throat> I mean, what makes a good trader? Um, what makes a good trader? It's one of the hardest questions you can, you can uh, ever do. But the most important thing that a trader isn't, isn't that he's got to be right, or he's got to be wrong, can't be wrong. He's got to be disciplined. That's it. The only thing that the trader must be is disciplined. He must not let all his money get blown out on one position simply because he's going, oh, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. Oh, no, I'm not. And you're, and you're out, you're done. You've wiped, wiped yourself out. Don't make ridiculous trades. Trade far too large size for the amount of money you've got in. Be disciplined, 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 disciplined. That's it. That's what makes a good trader. <clears throat> what sort of annualised return should a trader reasonably expect? I mean, an investor, if an investor made a 10% return um, on his money, you would say that's pretty good. Every year, you'd say that's a pretty pretty damn good investor. That's what Bernie Madoff was uh, was getting all his, uh, all his investors in on. You'd say, oh, it's 10% a year. It was in or around 10% every single year. So everybody thought, wow, amazing return. Of course, it wasn't, but um, but that's the point. If you can if you can say I'm making ten percent a year, then uh, uh, on your investments, that's pretty good. If you're a trader, of course, you know derivatives and things like that. You can you can double your money in five minutes, or you can go to zero in five minutes. And so it's it's a bit difficult to put percentages on uh, on derivatives trading, but in reality, you should never be risking more than ten percent of your money on anything on any position. Most people say 3%, but in derivatives, it's quite difficult to take positions with only 3% of your risk. So I would say that never never be risking more than 10% of your, of your money um, on any position for an, for an average-sized client. Um, you know, if, if you're a huge client, then then you go, well, don't, don't risk more than 3%. But, but if you're an, an ordinary client with a few thousand pounds in, you know, don't, don't risk more than, more than 100 Two hundred quid on on an individual position. Um, it's uh, it's it's a very difficult arena. <laughs>